Over the last few versions of Photoshop Elements, there's been a growing list of features grouped underneath the Photo Merge heading. And one of the newest features in this list is the Style Match Photo Merge feature. So if we go over to the Guided Edit workspace, you'll see that we've included a selection of these Photo Merge features in the Guided Edit workspace. This is probably the easiest and the quickest way for you to get up to speed when trying to learn one of these new features. Let's have a look at the Style Match option. So I'll just click on the Style Match option and we'll go into the Style Match workspace. Notice that I already had an image selected. It's an image of a car park sign that has seen better days. And what the Style Match feature does is provides us with a selection of images in a special style bin down the bottom here whose characteristics we can actually apply to the photo that we've picked from our own images. So let's just drag this particular car image up to the left hand side, which is our style image, and just let it drop into the workspace itself. So now you see that what we have is the style image on the left hand side and the qualities and characteristics of that image transferred across to our photo. Now, initially you might think to yourself that the styling is applied a little bit too strongly. So we have some controls on the right hand side here that enable us to back off that styling, but still keep some of the key characteristics. So the intensity is the basic power or strength of the styling that's being applied to your image and the clarity and detail sliders that you can see here enable you to fine tune the results. So if I just drag down the Enhanced Details slider here, you'll see that it softens up the application of the style. If I also then drag up the Clarity slider, that just rebuilds or brings back some crispness to the image as well. So that's looking quite good. Now if we want to not just transfer across the tonal style of the image, but also transfer the tones, that is the colouring, we can do that by clicking on the Transfer Tones option at the bottom here. So I'm just going to click Done now, and that change will be applied to that photo. Notice it'll be applied in a version set, so you can always revert back to the original image if you wish. And there's the final result, and we can save that, and that will mean that back in the Organizer workspace, we'll have both this image and the original image saved in a version set. Let's go and grab another photo and open it up in the Style Match workspace. So I'll grab this image here, open it up into the editor space to start with, then go over to Style Match underneath the Guided Edit options. This time what we'll do is we'll go and grab a black and white style image and drag it up into the left hand side of the workspace and click the Transfer Tones option so you can see how we've transferred the black and white styling as well as the tonal styling across to our photo. It's a little bit harsh, so I'm just going to drag down the Enhanced Details slider and push up the Clarity slider just a little bit, and that gives us a better result. Notice we also have two tools in the pane on the right hand side as well. We have Style Eraser, which I'll select here, and then just brush over a portion of the image. And you can see that just brushing over the image with the Style Eraser restores the previous version of the photo. So here we've got colour sitting within our black and white styled. We can also select the Style Painter tool, which paints on the style. So in this case, I'm just painting back over the area that I had reverted back to colour. So now we have black and white across the whole of the image. I'm just going to click Done to apply those changes to the photo. And then we'll look at another option as well. So what if we want to apply our own style conversions to our photos? Let's look at how we can do that. Let's select another image, go up to the Style Match, and then this time I'm going to go down to the Style Bin and click on the green plus button at the top of the Style Bin. And select Add Style Images from the Organizer, or I can choose to add them from my hard disk. If I select the Organizer option, well then I'll get a preview of the images that are currently open in the Organizer or an entire catalogue or just an album or even search using a keyword tag. I'm going to select this particular photo here and then click 
add selected photos at the bottom of the panel. I do this so that I can add the selected photo to the style bin. So it will become a style that I can then use to apply to my other photos. Once I've clicked that button, I then just click done to dismiss the dialog. You'll see now that when I drag down the scroll control on the right hand side that we have a new option in the style bin. I can now click and drag that up to the style image side of the workspace and you can see how automatically the tonal style of the image has been applied to the photo. If we click on transfer tones we'll get the colour as well and then we'll just make some final adjustments using the slider controls just to make the adjustment a little more subtle and maybe drop down the intensity just a little bit as well. And there you have it. The image that we've imported we've used as a style image and applied it to one of our own photos as well. So you can basically build up a range of different styled images and then apply those to your own photos. Remember it's also possible to start the file match process from the file new menu inside the editor workspace.